guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for another episode of our season series. Let's spit it out properly. Alright, so we have gone through winter, of course. We're into late spring now. So we've got a bit of snow on the ground. Once it starts raining, that might disappear. We've got a heap of manure. Where did all this come from? 29,000 litres of manure. Where did all that come from? Not exactly sure. I, know, I haven't got much water though. Why is this water pump not working? Seems like it's not working for some strange reason. Um, cleanliness is not good. Grass is a little bit low, but hopefully that'll change. I don't know why that. Um, you're looking at. I don't know why this isn't working for you. Sorry. Weird. If you guys know, let me know. Um, so we've got canola, canola on these two fields. We've got another field over here which has uh, wheat on it. Then I think it does it need to be fertilised again? Yeah, it does need to be fertilised again. Then we also have this big field 19 here now that we need to put some oats onto. Uh, it looks like our crops are still a little bit wet. Um, let me quickly, I want to make sure, where are we? Oh, there we go. Auto save off, just to make sure, just in case something goes wrong. Um, need to go over here and start planting this field. Let's grab our 25R. Sneak out of here. Okay. Plenty of oats in the tank. Should be enough to get this done. Now, I don't know. Okay, we're looking as far as um, grass goes. Everything is sort of growing, but it's going to take quite some time until it's ready to be harvested, I believe. I'll just bring up this menu again. This is our. Oh, it's not our front loader one. Uh, Road field 19. Multi plow. Field 19 outside. Um, seeding, bush generation. I'm gonna go north, south, east. South, east again. I'm gonna go west. Done. This guy will start down here. We'll start the first waypoint. This guy doing his thing. So hopefully, he'll be able to plant olive oats. Field. Oh, we don't need you. Probably should connect this up with the fertilizer. Fertilize this other field over here. We also need to fertilize that field there too. We need to do a little bit of uh, work with our cows, of course. I need a bit of new ice before we buy a bit more spreader pretty soon, I think. Um, we'll be able to use that. So, I think we have. Um, hay bale sitting just there as you can see we've got our straw bale sitting in we've got the straw blower machine we don't have to worry about those guys for a little while but we do need to make sure we get some water we don't know why our water system is not um well there you go now it's built there you go it's built up now 1600 litres so that should be okay there's a little more grass in there but I don't think grass is really too big of an issue to be honest, we have total mix ration and that sort of stuff. Um, we're still sort of learning how the cows go and stuff. Someone did comment um, today, which is in the episode before this one, I think, um, about having too many bulls in that pen. So they'll probably get aggressive and fight, but I think that's real life. I don't think that's like FS19. I don't think bulls are going to start fighting and that sort of stuff, but um, keep a close eye on them, just in case they do. I don't think they will. Um, let's have a look at our fertilisation. So it's definitely stage 3. This guy's getting stage 2 now, so we're going to have to go and fertilise that after we've done this. How are we going with straw and everything? Straw's all pretty good. There's not a great deal we have to really do today, I suppose, except for they plant that other field, um, re-fertilise. 
and I think now we're looking at our water. The water's actually working. It's not too bad. I'm not going to have to worry about it too much. Um, I did buy that front mower as well to use instead of our rear mower, so it's going to be a lot easier for us to be able to mow and um, get some more bales or something. We've got plenty of hay bales, we still need some more silage bales, I think. We sort of always want to make sure we've got um, a 2 to 1 ratio. Should be a hay, so we've got 6, 12, 13, so we've got more than enough. We still need to get some more hay, some more silage, and definitely some more straw bales as well. Let's go up and down. Uh, yeah, let's see how they go. They all seem to be doing pretty well. Shut this guy down. Come over to here, so. Look at the price on that guy. 4,400. wonder if they're, um, where are we here? Uh, Limousin. Oh, the prices really haven't changed much at all. So that's interesting, because I think... Get that flashlight off. I think these prices have changed a little bit too. Um, so that's pretty much Dublin. An extra $2,000 off the... Oops, actually two thousand dollars off these guys. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. I'd still, as I said, I don't know what the best time of year would be to sell those guys. I'm not quite sure. How's our water going? It's still six hundred liters. If it stays at that, I'll be happy. But I guess we're, um, we're really not going to know, are we? Um, let's have a look at the manure spreader. What's the cheapest one we've got? Twenty-seven thousand. It's only nine meters wide, so it's gonna. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. I mean, we've only got a little farm, little fields, but with all that sitting there, we can use instead of having to pay for like our own fertilizer and that sort of stuff. I think we probably still let it build up a little bit more before we go too far. This guy. That into there. Drop this guy off. We go and get that bucket to clean up a little bit of this uh, grass and stuff there. This tire's still a little bit dirt in the bottom. There you go, the snow's gone now. So I'm swinging around and grab this front bucket. I don't know if we can actually sell. Look at the wrong thing. The sell of the manure. We can't, there's nowhere to sell it. That's a shame. I don't think. I don't think we're going to be able to put this um, silage back straight in because of this straw bale.
take credit to the banks, so not a lot of money still waiting for these other crops to grow. Waiting for someone to get um, seeded over there now, so let's go and have a look at um, some jobs. Field 7, $14,000. Um, field 11, so 7 and an 11. 7, 11, and 5. Really good. And 4. Wow. So 7, 11, 5, and 4. We could probably go up and do 4 and 5. I think. I can set up a course to get that done. Get it straight. That's going to be a lot of money. And then we can come back and take control of the areas and seeding, I think. Spray up, we're gonna grab that front tank and we're gonna pull both these guys up and we can head off. Probably better if we used um, fertilizer pellets, but I think we this way we should manage. Well, that's herbicide or if it's fertilizer. I don't think it's fertilizer for some reason. Let's head on the right. Let's see. Can't kill both these guys up at the same time, that would be nice. Can't think of any let you do one or the other. Go back into, into the job. So field 4. Accept contract. I don't think we can. E oh yeah, go. We can accept field five. I don't think it'll let us. No. So we're going to do field four first, I suppose. Let's see how all that noise is. Should be far off. Let's go. Very good front. There we can go. Generation field four. Let's go south and east. Go west. Um, one last island. So head there. One. Go clockwise. That'll work. That wants to start there, which is weird. Uh, it was north east, one south east. That changed that. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go head towards field number four. Get this guy set up ready to go and um, bring in extra 20,000, so that's going to help us out. Now it's going to cost us a fair bit to pay this guy, but um, I think it will still be pretty good long term. Um, let's have a look at where are we? Turn that sand down a little bit again. It's not too late for me, but hopefully um, the recording's a little bit better. I'm, better. I'm still trying to optimize my microphone and stuff, and it's it's really frustrating trying to get it to work properly. Going from Windows 8 to Windows 10 for some things, but it's been pretty bad for me with the whole recording side of things. Of course, of course, nothing but dramas with um, my microphone pretty much. I feel like I've got to have it right next to my mouth for it to work properly. And then, um, previous videos I've made it so my microphone is 10 decibels higher than normal and it just makes me sound weird. Well, I should say weirder than what I really sound, so. So, heading to field 4. Gonna have to head sort of beside the silage BGA, I guess. Head north, and then it's just past that next field, sort of across the other side of the river. Let's bring up the map so we can sort of see. The best way to go is we down here, turn left. 
past the grain elevator. Turn right between those two fields there and get there eventually. So I know um, the other field down there that we brought before with the grass, we could possibly buy that again uh, this year, otherwise we could possibly try and get a little bit of extra money from the bank and buy. It's field one, top left of the map, yep, field one, there's a huge grass area up there that we can use to turn into to silage bales and hay bales and that sort of stuff, so we sort of just need to keep an eye on rain and stuff. So possibly it won't rain till Wednesday now, which today is Monday, so a couple of days, but I don't think, don't think the grass is going to be... Oh, no, the grass is ready to be cut on field number one. Well, that's interesting. That's 313,000. Let's have a look. Um, it's certainly going to dry. It's not going to dry. I think at the moment it's still quite wet. You can see the top left part of the, the hut. The top right hand side is sort of wet crops again so we need it to blow, be below 20% moisture for it to be sort of cut straight into dry grass. That's sort of what we need to aim for. Um, so we turn left here. This is field 5, what I can remember. Field 4 should be the next one. We should be able to get this guy doing his thing, plant our other fields. We might be able to come down and do some um, mowing over here. We just need to let it dry unless we turn that whole thing into silage bales, which will have a huge amount of silage bales, but I don't think it'll hurt. We did actually do that. Alright, so go drive course. Start at the first waypoint. Hopefully, be able to do his thing. Let's put our other worker here doing her thing as well. Let's have a look at um, the bank loan. See if we can get enough money. 331 it was. Plenty. 401. So we could possibly get a bit more than that if we needed to. Purchase this guy. Go buy. Um, so we have the front mower, so to minimise time we could possibly grab this guy as well, um, I could probably lease you, actually let's not do that yet, I think we already just did, yeah we already did, never mind, um, then I think we got a tractor which was capable, 160, so two, 240 horsepower. I think the 6M might go close. No, definitely not. What about the 6R? 300 horsepower, there we go. Front loader attach attachment, uh, wheel brand, standard, standard, standard. It's going to cost us a little bit to lease it, which is fine. But it's not going to be too bad, I don't think. Um, I sort of want to get down to here quick. Might have to... See if, can we click on... Okay. Jump out of here, let him do his thing. So we should be able to set up... Like a delivery point down here. That way I can get the tractor straight down here, I can get the windrower down here, I can get the mowers down here pretty quick. Get this whole field done. As far as grass goes, that should be sugar beet field I think, so it's a little bit over this way. Watch out for this train. Great demand at the restaurant for corn. We don't have any corn.
Oh, that's wheat. Oh, there we go. So let's put that there. Now, if I go back to our map, we can go down to here. Uh, where's our windrow? It should be here somewhere. There we go. Beautiful. It's all here, ready to go. So now I need to remember how we attach this guy. There's always one way it likes to go and the other way it doesn't. Perfect for that. Attach this guy to the back. Like that. There we go. So we can unfold you. Unfold you, unfold the front. Actually unfolding the back one. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get started. Start mowing. So lower you. Start mowing. As I said, I think it's going to be good moisture. Forty percent moisture. So. It's going to be wet grass, but we can turn this straight into silage bales, of course. Actually, what I should be doing is see if I can get all the way back to the start here, which is going to cause some dramas with the wind rower. Back to the start, there we go. There we go. Start course recording. Pull you back down again. The least that I can get the next one, the next person to come through and be able to bail without me having to do it myself. So I think that'll work. This whole area can be turned into silage bales. That other field that we usually buy, which is field 20, is ready to go as well. We can turn that into some hay hay bales and then we should have plenty plenty of bales to get us through for a fair while It'll just be some more straw bales I think It'll be the next sort of um, problem that we come across I guess so we'll do a run that way do a run around the whole area and then I can come back through and go up and down as need be no, it doesn't always cut quite close to the field like you think it would, but it doesn't matter too much. You can see that's the field there. There's so much more grass around this side here that you can actually get to as well. So a huge amount of grass available for us to be able to cut. I think I um, could possibly just do this as like an outline and then set up the course play to be able to take care of the rest of it. Which wouldn't be a bad idea either, I suppose. Saves me doing it, I can go and do other things while someone's down here doing doing all the really exciting, you know, mowing stuff. Try not to um so rough there. Looks pretty good where I'm sitting, but which is pretty rough through there. Try not to run too close to the edge here because when you get the the course set up there's a possibility that they will drop off the edge there, so to sort of keep a keep an eye on them too. I think I'm just gonna go straight along the side. I don't want to go down there too much. Save this as field one outline, and then set up a course from there. So we stop here, go to stop, save as field one outline done. Go course generation. 
want to go south east we want to go north we can headland yes how many passes can we do let's just go three passes clockwise eight point two meters let's go seven point seven point six why not There's our starting point there, so let's go first waypoint. Go drive course. Hopefully. This should now take care of itself. It should work pretty well. You can always bring up here, show you the whole course. Should be fine. Let's make sure the turn on field is deactivated. That's going to help as well. Hopefully, this guy can do his thing. We can make get some massive um, straw bales out of that. How's this guy going? So he's done the whole outside, and looks like we're going to need to fill him up again, I suppose. We can obviously come into here, if we get to that point, we can do that, it'll start to buy the fertiliser, but that'll only be sort of last minute sort of thing, if I know we're getting pretty close to, um, getting pretty close to running out, but I don't have to take any there myself, I can do that, so let's go save, field 19, seed, Right, we can take care of this now, we can get this last little bit finished. We do have to come back through and fertilise this as well. Um, I'm pretty sure we have... Let's check. Um, pretty sure we don't need lime. No, we don't. Okay. Pretty sure we did it before, so I might even be able to dump that lime out of there and grab some fertiliser pellets to come back and fertilise this while our spray is away. So I'm hoping this season, this year, we should be able to have a pretty good harvest and also you know, continue to have our cattle grow, that sort of stuff. Have some baby cows produced and um, hopefully some milk as well. Get our animals. There should be no milk production yet. Not yet. So someone said, um, if you don't have slurry, if you don't have, so I'm sure I say, if you don't have straw, then your cow pen will produce slurry. If you have straw, then the cow pen will produce manure. So, but I'm pretty sure if you don't have straw, then like your health and that will drop quite a bit. So it won't have it as. You know, 100% like it would be if you had full total mix ration and also you had water and straw and clean at 100%. Right, so one last run of this guy, then we should be finished seeding. So plenty of oats on this field ready to go. Hopefully, hopefully it won't um, won't be too far, and we'll start harvesting. Up to tomorrow, potentially. We still need to wait for our ground to dry a little bit more. So, what I might do off camera is get that whole bottom field mowed, filled full, completely sprayed. And then, next episode, we'll come back. And if the ground's dry enough, we'll go and make some hay bales up the other end. I think at the moment, um, sort of got a good path where we want to go and with us being able to buy these other fields make some bales and that sort of stuff and then sell the field back it's only going to benefit us us in the long run as far as like our our cattle and stuff goes so hopefully it'll be a good thing for us let's grab a spreader so we've got a little bit of lime left in there drop that off I don't think I have how pellet shit. I don't know what that even is. Oh, there we go, down the bottom, herbicide. 
What's this guy? This should be that time. Um, that's a seed. Right, let's go and have a look. I don't think I have... Actually, no, we should have fertilizer. I oh, know there's only two, so it'll be lime and seeds. Let's have a look at that. I don't know, fertilizer. And lime. Okay. I don't want to fill it up too much. Let's go, like I say, 20%, maybe. I wonder if that'll be enough for us to fertilize this whole field. I think it might be, but we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Right, we'll get rid of that. I've already saved that, so that should be fine. I'd say that's definitely enough for us to be able to fertilize with. Try and set ourselves at 270 degrees. Not a bad sort of view. There, take that as our screenshot. Alright, so we might do um, the run on either end and then we can come back through and fill in the middle part but I think 20% is probably still too much maybe even 10% or 5% would have been enough so we should be able to get that next pass in one run if we can line ourselves up properly but right here guys what I'll do is I'll end the episode here and um, come back next episode and probably work on some bailing down the bottom there and get that field finished spraying off camera, get the mowing done off camera, but come back and get the bailing done. Hopefully um, the crops will be dry enough to make some hay bales as well, so we might look at doing that next episode. And then obviously we're going to have to make sure we don't keep that tractor too long. Return that as well. Um, so it's not costing us the extra money we don't really want to be, you know, throwing out, throwing down the drain sort of thing. If you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know if you've got any ideas for the future of this series or what else you'd like to see. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.